We've been on a journey of discovery over the last month as we've wrestled with designing and installing a suspended ceiling here at Lineside Studios. Valuable lesson learned, it's best to focus on electrical work and leave ceiling fitting to the experts. As they say around here, our attempt is a little bit whammocky. <laughs> It has, however, enabled us to demonstrate why using lighting distribution modules and pre-wired cables is such an effective solution for commercial buildings. It allows you to complete and test all of the fixed electrical wiring and then return to site and plug in all of the lights once the ceiling fitters have finished. And, of course, the customer has finally decided the exact location of the lights. If the customer wants to change the layout or add additional lights, it's a simple plug-in installation. We've installed this system from Flex 7, which we've explored in previous videos in this series. Check them out if you'd like to understand more about the system and how it works, along with Dali lighting controls. Using our mock-up ceiling, we're going to explore how some of the control features work and how they enable energy saving. We've connected 12 bell lighting LED panels into our ceiling, which are a mixture of switch switched with emergency, Dali dimmable, and Dali dimmable with emergency. Now at this stage, I want you to use your imagination and stick with me on this one. Pretend this side has windows and outside a herd of wildebeest are majestically sweeping across the Skipton Riviera. The sunlight is beating through the window. Next to our imaginary windows, we've positioned all of our Dali dimmed fixtures in one row alongside a daylight sensor plugged into our control system. Now I'm going to use this torch to simulate all that fantastic daylight coming through the window. And as the light level falling on the sensor increases, we start to see the LED panels dimming. This daylight linking or harvesting reduces the energy consumption in the room significantly. So I've done the maths on this. We originally had 403 watts, but once it's been dimmed, we've moved down to 278. Now imagine this energy saving multiplied across a whole office block. Thinking about those office blocks at night, has anyone left the lights on and gone home? Automatically switching the lights off when a space isn't being used is a huge energy saver and one of the main drivers for using lighting controls. For offices and similar applications, there are two main methods of achieving this, detecting occupancy or absence. Well, what's the difference? Occupancy is probably what most electricians are used to fitting on floodlights, triggered as soon as somebody is detected entering the space, and they switch off after a predetermined time when you leave the space. This is ideal for areas such as corridors and plant rooms, which may not have any windows. Absence is slightly different as it relies upon the room's users to trigger the lights, rather than the sensor that detects if no one is in the room. Let me explain. I've just entered the room and I'm satisfied with the current level of natural light coming through the windows, so I do not require any additional lighting. However, as the day progresses and the amount of daylight decreases, I need brighter environments to perform my tasks. So I simply turn on the lights using a switch that is connected to the lighting control system. When I leave the space, the PIR sensor detects this and the lights switch off. With the Flex 7 system, you can select the mode of operation using the remote control during setup. The great thing about the Flex 7 system is that the tiny sensors go almost unnoticed on the ceiling. Adding additional sensors and switches is effortless as the system uses RJ11 connectors and extra low voltage wiring. What about more extensive changes to the system? What if we completely change the office layout and create multiple smaller offices or breakout spaces? If all of these fixtures were Dali controlled, we could simply reprogram the fixtures into different groups. However, we'd probably still need to wire in some additional sensors or switches to cover our new space. So that could mean you'd need an electrician plus a clean coat who can work the software. With the Flex 7 system, all of the changes are made by replugging the connectors in the distribution box. So let's start by unplugging the lights from the distribution box that we want to control. Instead of using the expansion module that shares all of the electrical connections with the starter pack, we'll use a tap-off unit. This looks similar to the expansion module, but doesn't have a through connection on the Dali or the switched live from the previous module. We replug our lights back into the new tap-off box add a new control module and an additional PIR. Faster than the time it takes to boot up a Windows laptop, we've completely reconfigured our control system to serve two separate rooms. Again, we can make fine adjustments to the control system with the remote control. A suspended ceiling can hide a multitude of sins and just because we're installing safety 
extra low voltage cabling doesn't mean we can ignore the regulations not like them pesky data installers do now if we'd opted for absence based detection in our new space we may need to add an extra switch and remember the actual switch down at the plate there isn't switching any real current it's just sending a signal to trigger the relay that's inside the lighting control module here in our system we've utilized the pre-wired switches from flex 7 but you can use any manufacturer's retractive switch if you want to match other wiring accessories in the area by adopting the lighting control techniques used in this video you can reduce lighting energy consumption by between 20 and 60 percent depending on how the space is used i'll leave a link to more use cases from the flex 7 website in the description below and here's a helpful tip from me if you start using automatic lighting control that everyone who uses the space will get used to the lights switching themselves off however beware if you leave just even a tiny space without lighting control, that will be the light you constantly find yourself switching off. Please share your experiences with the lighting controls in the comments and feel free to ask any questions that we can address in future videos.